Welcome everyone to ISU Esports. My name is Nick Newman. Alongside me is the one and only Tommy Devine. How are you today, my friend? I'm good, Nick, and it's glad. I'm glad to be here. This is a really good opportunity. This is the first time I've got to do this, so it'll be an interesting what? ride yes. for both of us. Yes, and I think that's a, I think that's a really good thing. Um, obviously, last week we didn't have enough time to actually see a full game, but Absolutely. I think it's still a really great opportunity that we still get to. Are, are able to do these type of things and able to stream this event, uh, which is monumental within itself. Yeah, and the fact that the Missouri Valley came out and made a conference, you know, these different teams for some some of the schools in the conference, uh, it's really a good opportunity to come out and Absolutely. try something new, do something new, get the people in new, and get the students involved, and it should be a good time. I'm, I'm ready to see what happens. Here Absolutely. Tonight. Absolutely. And I think I like to call this game, since we're going up against Illinois State University, the battle of the ISUs. Absolutely. ISU Absolutely. versus ISU. Exactly. The battle. And I think that's I think that's kind of funny a little bit to me, but you know, you 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 get it, you get what I'm saying here. It's Absolutely. it's it's definitely something, but um, it's it's definitely monumental, <laughs> and yeah. hopefully this time we get some game <laughs> yeah, some gameplay. I mean, this is the first year this is happening. You know, yes. a lot of people are coming together, a lot of forces uh, coming together to get make this happen. You know, it's been a little bit of a road, but now we're finally starting to kick into gear and get some of these matches underway. And I'm excited to watch some Super Smash Bros. See Absolutely. What Absolutely. So. Well, before we get into the gameplay, we will go to actually the rules of the game here. So this is how it will work. This is called the Cruise uh, game. So basically, both teams have four players. The first players from both teams will play the first game. The loser of each game will be eliminated from play and replaced with the next teammate. The winning player continues playing and bans three stages from selection. A uh, winning player does not replenish stocks lost and lost from the previous game. Uh, but here's the kicker. When one team loses all four players, they lose the match. Best of three match wins. So basically, if we um, once one team is out, that's one full game. And then if they do it again, it's two out of one. And so it's a best of three when all the teams, when, when that team is completely out, that's one game to us. Yeah. And we're going to have life bars, I think, on top of yes. both, uh, signifying that uh, life expectancy and how many lives you have left and all, all that sort of thing and the scoring there on both. Yes. And just uh, we'll kind of just talk about the, you know, specific kind of attacks that <laughs> may occur Absolutely. here. Um, you know, we got the neutral aerial, the forward aerial, all that type of stuff, like the aerial attacks. Um, we got. Uh, blast line, which is, I think it's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, me. you know, and you just got your, you know, your classic video game mm -hmm. attacks, right? Your counters, your attacks, your dodges, your dips, you're kind of yep. doing all kinds of stuff. You got yep. a counter, uh, you got some combos in there we're going to see tonight, you know. Yep. A lot of different things they're going to throw it at you. And these, these guys, these, these people are professionals, yeah. pretty much, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, <laughs> these, guys, these guys know what they're doing, um, you know. Get me behind there, you never know. But these guys, I, I trust these guys to, to come out and, and show Ab what they absolutely. can do. Absolutely. <laughs> and, yeah, we definitely have a good lineup, but we'll get into that in just a little minute. But um, we got, like, dash attacks, um, you know, speed, when all that type of stuff. It's going to be really awesome to see that type of stuff. Um, but, yeah, what I mean, what are your thoughts about tonight's game? Do you think it's going to be a really good hit? <laughs> I think it'll be a really good matchup. I, I think, you know, a lot of things we take a look at, you know, um, I'm going to look a lot at dashing dodging, seeing what players do. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna is there gonna be a lot of stay away? Is there gonna be a lot of full force most of the time? Right. What's the strategy behind it? A lot of different strategies coming to each way. You gotta kinda focus, take a look, kinda laser in, see what's going on. This is kind of a crowded game. Super Smash Brothers crowded game. A lot Absolutely. of things going on, different levels. You're working at a lot of different things in this game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, you are coming all, I was gonna all say, over the place. You don't know what's going to happen until you look at it or when they're even playing. You're just like, oh, exactly. wait, oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, look at that. There you go. This happens. Like you, you don't you don't around. expect it until it, like, actually happens. So Absolutely. it's it's definitely going to be uh, an interesting <laughs> thing oh, to yeah. kind of no. see and to kind of just – uh, kind of experience to just kind of see it. Yeah, and like we said, this is a, this is a, a brand new thing. I mean, this is what absolutely a weeks old or second week, right? This, yeah, second week going on. So you know, this is going to be a little bit of a road of adjustment for all of us here, not just us. Absolutely, them, them, us. I mean, this is going to be a lot of kind of uh, new territory. 
It's mm-hmm. a new adventure we're going on here on yep. campus. WZIS, the whole deal. Being on, uh, being on Twitch and everything, this is a new experience for everybody. Absolutely. So I mean, we're, we're excited we're, to be here. We hope you guys are having some fun watching us, and hopefully we can keep you entertained, informed. And absolutely. Sh- should be pretty fun. And he's, I, not, and he's not too far off about the whole new experiences, because when they approached us for doing like live streaming um, Super Smash Bros., I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Esports? Like one? esports, yeah. like professional level? And they're like, yeah, I'm like, okay, yeah. I mean, yeah. And you know, the Missouri Valley, I mean, with all sports, yes. such a rich history and tradition in the Valley. Yes. Right? And to add esports, it's it's a new world mm-hmm. that we're living in. And especially with like new technology coming in yeah. and like more consoles maybe even coming in, it's definitely going to be an interesting one to see how they kind of approach certain things like even with maybe pc consoles all that type of stuff like maybe missouri valley will even get into more you know maybe mario kart or you know maybe even like call of duty who knows so the world is your oyster <laughs> as far as esports is yep. concerned we're talking madden too i mean that's just a few things but you know this is where we're kind of starting off super smash bros really good classic game i think a lot of people enjoy it. if you don't enjoy it, at least you've heard the theme music anything <laughs> that just sticks in your brain all day long yep. that's all i've been doing all day is humming that theme song yep uh getting ready for this so you know, uh, somewhere, somehow, this game has affected somebody you know or yourself. It It is pretty much a universally loved game, and we're going to see some good competition. Yeah, 100%. And I think it's just, it's definitely an interesting road that people are going to be heading down to. And it's, <laughs> I yeah. can't, I can't wait to see where it's going to be going to. But we're going to be starting off with the basis, just Super Smash Brothers, and just seeing where it goes from so where that there. goes. See if it grows, so. so we'll head into a hold real quick, let them get all situated, and then we'll be coming right back with some play by play. See ya. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, uh, we didn't bore you too long with that <laughs> holy music. But um, we're back, and we're actually going to talk a little bit about uh, the players and how we've kind of seen them kind of practice a little bit for some of these games. Sure. Um, Definitely with Dane, I've seen this man in action, at least with Smash. Like, any game you put this man in front of, it's it's just so interesting to me. Like, he is a freaking master with the controller. It's, It's insane. With Zach, I haven't really seen a whole lot with him, but I'm kind of interested to see where he goes from it. I've heard that he's a pretty good uh, gamer himself, but I'm not really too sure. I mean, what are your thoughts about these two players so far? Yeah, I think Zach can come out tonight and really show us what he has. I think, you know, depending on what character he selects, Mm -hmm. I think he's going to be able to come out and show his moves, kind of get a repertoire going a little early. Yes. You know, and see exactly what he really is trying to focus on tonight early. You know, is he going to focus more on the counter? Is he going to try to stay back? watch his opponents, see what happens. I'm kind of excited to see what he yes. uh, does there. Yes, and like, up next we got Luke. I've seen this man during our practice <laughs> during our practice streams, and I'll tell you what, he is a man behind the controller. He knows what to do. You know, sometimes it slips through the cracks, but it happens to the best of us, right? <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Um, with JT, I've, again, I've seen that man with the controller. Freaking nuts. <laughs> Freaking nuts. And it's, it's I don't know, he, with these players, just in particular, it's just it's so interesting to see stuff that I haven't even seen within yeah. any of the gameplay. So it's definitely it's definitely interesting um, to see that type of stuff. I mean, your thoughts about that? I just I'm looking to see how aggressive each player is today. Ooh, yes, are they going to come yes, out yes, strong, yes. swinging, kind of like you know what we see in sports, just like you know we're going to see them punch him in the mouth real early. <laughs> or is it going to be right. more of kind of stay loose, stay fit, kind of see it? Kind of kind of like slowly it build it up a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Slow it up or are they going to go for the jugular real quick? So that's something I'm really interested in. Uh, pretty, pretty much everybody today, just yes. kind of how they come out, how they're focused, seeing who can get, you know, uh, a win here and yeah. there. And I, definitely, I definitely think that's um, – I think that's definitely an interesting um, – take of that because sure. I, I never I never really thought about that. So, yeah, I definitely agree with you. I, I'm kind of interested to see what attacks they necessarily take with that because, sure. like you said, it may be like, all right, I'm going to go freaking punch in and then just see what happens, or I may, you know, take it slow, see what kind of attacks they go on, and then I'll go off from there. Kind of, you know, go go different levels, jump around, kind of try to stay loose on your feet a little bit. Try yeah. to see what's what's going on, yep. <laughs> what moves do I need to do, counter, jump. I mean, it's this game, there's so much going on. Right. Like we said before, it's so hectic. You're always trying to think. 
but sometimes in all that craziness and all that madness, sometimes you just got to focus on your own character mm-hmm. and what they're doing. Right. And with that focus, you're able to win some of these matches, and that's critical. Yes. Just focus on this. Yes. Nick. I mean, just absolutely got to focus in. Really laser vision, focus in and see what happens. And, and our last uh, player of the night, Nevea. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of screen time with her, but – I know that she was just learning about it, and she's definitely gotten good over the past, I think, couple weeks that she's been playing. Yeah. So I think that's, I mean, when you got a team that's already like, <laughs> you know, sure. like Dane, Zach, Luke, and JT, sure. I mean, you, I mean, you're just doing great within itself. I mean, you're learning from not only people that's played it for hours upon hours upon hours. Yeah, yeah these guys definitely but, play this more than probably maybe. Definitely me. Oh, oh, yeah. 100%. Maybe more than you. Most of us combined. <laughs> so, you know, if, if Nevaeh has to learn from anybody, be these guys, and she's going to really, I don't know, I think she's really going to shine. Today. Oh, yes. I think she's going to step yes. up and kind of help this team a little yes. win, win some matches today, I think, against Illinois State. Yes, and I definitely think that it's it's definitely a learning process. Even, even if you join, like, freaking new, like, I think that's definitely, like, a big thing to be like, oh, okay, so – you did this, let me see if I can do the same thing. Or, yeah. oh, well, I saw this, so let me try to add this. You know what I mean? That type yeah. of thing. Sure. And I'm, I'm also interested to see, like, the different maps there are. Yes. You know, on this and how different maps affect how you play and mm-hmm. the strategy. It's all strategy. I mean, this is what it comes down to. Yes. It's not the punches. It's not the dashing. It's not all that. It's not the combos. It's the place and where you're trying to fight. Yes. What 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 are the advantages what what are you looking for when you go to a certain location in these in this game? I mean, what what are you looking for? And, and so that I think is another critical part. Yeah, I definitely I definitely think that's uh, that's definitely an interesting uh, thing to kind of note because it's just um, you know when you when you learn from these people that you basically you know practice with well, and sure. you don't really think about certain things and they bring something new to the table you're like, oh, well I never. I never tried that move. Yeah. I never tried that combo. I never tried that attack. Or you, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, sure. It's, it's just the chemistry too, like with your teammates and different things about how you're trying to talk. Like, you know, if Nevaeh is trying to talk to, uh, you know, different her teammates, and yeah, try to different things. Like, you're just trying to, you know, stick together, trying to maybe make a game plan, different things, and so that's something that you also have to take into account of as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that's just. Um, I think that's just definitely a thing. So, like I said, Dane, Zach, Luke, JT, Nevea. I think that's definitely um, the team to kind of win it all. And yeah, I, think, I'm, I think Zach. I'm looking for Zach. Yes. Like really come out, come through, see what he can do. Uh, kind of the BMOC, Big Man Campus. Who, on this who do you team, think is going to so. be the star player out of all these five people? I, big Man Campus, I think Zach. I really? Think, I think Zach's going to come through tonight. I'm a big uh, Zach guy. I, I really do enjoy watching him play. And uh, I think he's going to be the one to step it up tonight, yep. for sure. Yeah. For sure, Nick. What, do you think he's going to start out fast? Do you think he's going to start out slow? You know, I, I'm not sure. But I think that's kind of guy that kind of goes, goes for the hit first, goes through the throat first, you know. Mm. And we, we'll see tonight. Maybe mm-hmm. he takes his approach a little bit differently yes. tonight. Uh, you know, when different teams come in, uh, Illinois State come in, you know, every team has a different mentality, right, when it comes to this. So he's probably he's a really smart guy. He's probably going to figure out. Mm-hmm. Know, work up to it, see what happens, maybe test out the waters. Yes. Or it could go in the opposite direction. You never know. Yes. With, with Super Smash Bros. You never know. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think with me, I think I'm going to go with, um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go with Luke, actually. Okay. Because, uh, I, like I said, I've seen this man practice sure. uh, the countless times that we've pra- done our practice streams, we've done our practice stuff, and they've even practiced here. I think just watching them play, I think, is a very, you know, interesting thing to me because, he kind of takes it like kind of like a little bit of the fast approach, but then he kind of like slows it down a little yeah. bit. So I definitely think if the other, you know, Illinois State, like the other ISU, uh, kind of takes it, I think that's definitely one. I think we may have a game underway. Be actually here. ready to. We may be actually okay. to be ready to head into a game here. So we'll we'll take a we'll take a quick minute here and just seeing figure out some things. But yeah, uh, I think. Yeah, I think it's the stamina, too, we're going to have to watch today. Oh, yes. You know, keeping the oh, stamina yes. up, see if you can balance Kind of keeping that concentrated. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so I think we're going to get right in, go right into our first game, Luke versus Jack. Wolf versus Jack. And here we go. go. I'll tell you what, Jack from Illinois State is keeping... Been busy here. Oh, yeah, a lot of movement to the different levels. 
That's yeah. pretty cool. Yes. And that goes back to what you were saying about the maps earlier. <laughs> you gotta can use them to your advantage. Yes, sure. absolutely. Yeah. There's some of those attacks. Jumping around, dodging a little bit. Keep jumping Ooh. up. Luke with an attack. Will he get back up? Oh, just barely. Hanging on by a thread over there. Just barely. He's hanging on by a thread. He does a little, maybe, a little sidestep. Luke him again. Bring him back to my leg. Ooh, that is not a good hit that you want to see. That is not a good hit. But here's the thing with that though is when you're that low on damage, let's say, you know, going to state, I mean, you're in dangerous territory because it takes one hit and then guess what? <laughs> you're done. gone. You're, done. you're gone. Yeah. So, you know, it's, you and there it is right there. Yeah. He's gone right there. And you can also keep track of that at the top of the screen. Absolutely. Uh, and our look actually looks pretty good. Absolutely. And ours looks that's the best in the conference. Right. Going back to here. Back to normal. Say it's keeping Luke busy. Let's see how Luke responds with this. A lot of they're being very aggressive both sides. Not a lot of uh, like we're talking about keeping it back and forth. Yeah, keeping it conservative they're, and all that they're stuff. They're really going at pretty hard. It should both be good and bad yeah. at the same time. He's taking a lot of damage from there. Red birds and all here. Jack seems to be taking a little bit of damage here and there. That's game. That is the first game is always a bit rough right there. Yeah, absolutely. What 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 do you think your main thoughts are, real quick, while we get while we get know, ready for the next they, game? They were really, like we said earlier, they were really coming out. Yes. And they're really and they're sw and they're swinging. <laughs> Very fierce uh, in this first round or this first match, and you know that's kind of maybe what I'm gonna set the mode, set yes. the mentality for the rest of the night. Nick is is all this uh, aggressive. Uh, type behavior on both on both sides for yeah. sure. And that and like you said with those maps, I mean you have to use them to your advantage. Yeah, absolutely. And you know when you're jumping around, you find a good vantage point. You want to stick with that vantage point. You're able to jump around, kind of air dodge a little bit. Mm -hmm. They were able to you know make some good moves on both sides. I think um, for Indiana State it was a good match overall. I yeah. Yeah, I definitely think that's definitely <laughs> an advantage that you have to take a part of. So it's um. It's definitely interesting. Absolutely, yeah. We're, I'll be interested to see what they choose next here in the location. Uh, and then uh, I think next we have uh, Nevaeh versus Jack, I believe. Yes, uh, we state. do have Nevaeh versus Jack. And it's, it's going to be kind of interesting because we're going to see what type of map they use, what type yeah. of strategies that we were talking about earlier on with, you know, certain players may have, you know, certain attacks they maybe didn't think of or maybe they'll apply here um, during this next match. I mean... Your thoughts about that? Yeah, I'll, I'll be like I said, I'll be really interested to see what they choose. There's so many different maps and so many different areas, and you're thinking, you know, like we said before, the taking advantage of what you have given to you. But um, yeah, I really will be interested to see like how it really does affect mm -hmm. each match and and how crucial that is. And trying yeah. to find your maybe kind of home field if there even is mm -hmm. one, right? Yeah. So there's so many that, different that virtual special worlds field. And, you're just like, oh, yeah. I love this one. Yeah. I will tell you what, just from experience, just real quick, there was an ice um, kind of map where it would kind of quite literally move you. Okay. And some of the things that would just come out and just freaking take would you, you would out. Would you slide? Would yeah. You? They, okay. they would slide. The water would come up and all that Ooh, type of stuff. Yeah, and that's, that one, once you're in the rough. water, you're done for. <laughs> yeah, that seems a little bit rough. But uh, that just, just those type of like advantages and disadvantages that come from these maps, I mean, heck. You don't know yeah. what you're going to get from either, you know, from just moving around, you know, flying, you know, or just staying still even. Yeah, I mean, there's so many maps. I mean, you can't possibly prepare for every one of them. Right. You can, <laughs> but sometimes you know, maybe, <laughs> that would maybe take there's a, a map you could forget maybe, but usually, you know. And then these guys know that the best maps, worst maps, I mean, mm -hmm. they, they know. And so they're going to they're gonna try to choose something that maybe be a little bit neutral, but try to be a little bit more advantage on their side. Yeah. But that's, that's pretty hard to Absolutely. do. Absolutely. And I think, you know, if they if they choose a map, they're just like, oh, well, this one really got me because of this. 
they're going to really work on that. Just to be like, okay, so that one part of the map that moves, I'm going to work on that just to do a lot better. <laughs> and like we said before, I think, you know, uh, I'll be interested to see the rest of these matches. Maybe does that did that set the tone that first match with the aggressiveness coming out, kind of going at each other a lot, or, or are we going to get more of that conservative right. approach? I really will be Well, I was going to say, we're going to go ahead into the uh, next match. Chew. We got Nevea versus Jack. It's going to be quite an interesting round. Here we go. Seems like a, seems like a tennis surface. A little, Whoa, a little wait a minute. That's a bit of an interesting move right there. Redbird's taking some damage right there. The Vayner's responding back actually pretty decently. Yes, yes. Nevea is coming with that real attack right there. Brown. Not a lot of aerial Ooh. so far. Nevea is taking advantage of this. A lot of great blockage right there. Nevea took a little bit of hit damage right there. Bay is definitely responding with it, and he even got him off there on that cliff right there, as we saw. Yeah, jumping onto that second level, coming back down, kind of being able to restart that. Yep. Restart yourself. Yep. So it's, it's a, you know, you ever need to restart yourself on the next level, trying to take the stock of what you've been doing so far. And yes. Make some adjustments there. Redbirds are taking some damage, but so are our own <laughs> team right there, as we lose another heart right there. Keep the bottom of the screen. Uh, man, that, that was a rough game to see that. A lot of damage taken. I, th I definitely think Jack is taking kind of like the approach, like from, you know, Illinois State. Like Jack from Illinois State. I think he's taking an interesting approach. Like he's just, he kind of fills out the, you know, the player and yeah. just kind of seeing like, okay, so let me see. Let me see what happens here. And then let's just, you know, a couple go in. body shots, yeah. right? One, really kind of just kind of feeling it, it out, out, retreating, drawing back, coming in, taking a couple a, combos, no, no, taking a couple hits, and then just like okay, yeah. so it kind of you know goes back into what we were saying yeah. <laughs> at the beginning, where oh, it was yeah. just like you know, what what will happen is the they'll start out slow, and then when you least expect it, and right there, right, <laughs> right yeah, in the keister, right, punch him in the mouth early, and that's kind of the attitude. I think you want, you know, in these type of Valley games, you want an attitude of coming out there, punch him in the mouth. Absolutely. Uh, for, and most, they, for most, maybe the first time, and then after a while, you kind of, like we said, feel it out a little yes. bit. Yes, yes. And, you know, with this next um, up, up and coming round with Dane versus Jack, I'm kind of interested to see what Dane does. Yeah, I think he you might know. be able to come out and kind of, maybe what Jack does a little bit, kind of, you know. Kind of feel him out. Feel him out. And just body see. shots, retreat, come back take stock of what's going on. Yes, kind of and I, I definitely think it's going to be kind of interesting because he's kind of more of a conservative, but he also goes in really hard when he wants to. So it's kind of interesting to see how both these players that do that, just see how they do it and just go from there. Yeah, it should be kind of interesting styles. Yes. Right? Clashing here and King, uh, King DD and Cloud here. Uh, He's been doing well with Cloud so far, yeah. yeah. Especially against the man. No, no change there. Yeah, so no, I think, I think it's gonna be uh, an interesting thing there. So let's get straight into it. They ain't take kind of taking some shots right there. He's got a very big camera. See, see, using those platforms. Yeah, using those platforms. To his advantage, I mean, it's kind of able to kind of air jump a little bit. What a nice, why, 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 pretty good dodge right there. Kind of just seeing what happens. Good, good hit, good hit by Dane right there. Jack gets hit with that type of. Kind of hiding under the game. A lot of, a lot of Ooh. edge. 
Ooh, fight. Dane's not out yet. Dane's not out yet. He is pretty low on the percentage, but he is coming back a lot stronger. He's trying to yes. Battle in the center. Even though Dane got out right there, he still <laughs> Jack from the Illinois State still got hit pretty good right there. Yeah, I think Jack's trying to yeah, so that he can get that one big hit yeah. and then just, you know. <laughs> Take it out in one stroke. Yep, yep. So. and he's definitely using his guard a lot more, which is uh, an interesting strategy because you only have that for a select, you know, a couple of seconds maybe if you see you know, what happens there. You also want to maybe, you know, Jack and uh, E-Cloud uh, or more of character. Yeah. And not as big of a hitbox. Yeah, exactly. More on you. What a nice hit by Dane right there. See, there's that guard again that I was talking about. You only have that thing for a couple of seconds, but once once it's gone, I mean, you have time to regenerate it, but not for very long. Back to the center. I mean, back to the center. And he's, he's like, he's yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you're hiding under him, yeah. jumping on him, I mean, all Ooh, Dane's not out just yet. They're going to use his aerial attacks, and there he goes. It's one to one, all tied up right here. It's all or nothing. Dane's really got to be careful with this because he is really low, so he's really going to, you know, be defensive on this one. Jack is taking an interesting approach with those aerial attacks because he knows that he you know, has a pretty low percentage than uh, Dane does. Yeah, and you know, you're trying get back to yourself Absolutely. Absolutely. Jack is taking a lot of hits. Dane is really doing a good job on this. It's floating back into the arena here. Almost didn't make that, but Dane's really, like I said, Dane's got to be really careful with where he's at. Right now. His one run move and he could be done for. Ooh, is this it? Is this it? Come on. They oh knew my it. gosh, oh my goodness. It is almost neck and neck right now. This is a nail, this is the, you know, this is on the edge of your seat right here. This is gonna be interesting. Wow. Dane. Oh my Ooh, gosh. Man. All right. Wow. That was, wow. A, that. what a game right there. Good way to finish that one, Nick, for sure. It's, like, like, like what I was saying during the game was, that guard you only have for a couple of seconds, but if you use yeah. it strategically, whether you I mean, save it or not, yes, that's I, that's another key too, and and that goes into the strategy that we've been talking about all night. You know, yeah, getting into that folding in. You know, what time to use that shield? When do you use it? You mm -hmm. know, higher power, lower power, middle of the game. It's all about saving what you can and yes. trying to kind of use it, and disperse it into like different. Different areas of the game, yes. so you know kind of when you need when you need it the most, really. Yes. That's what it comes down to, Nick. Yeah, and I definitely think that last game was like <laughs> a very interesting one where it was yeah. neck and neck, yeah. and they were both at the highest percentages, and at that moment in time, and it's just like you're like, what's gonna happen? Like yeah. these two are really close. I mean, it's just like you don't know what to expect. And like I said, it, <laughs> like I said, when it came to that neck and neck, it's like Dane has to be really careful with yeah. his moves and just really be defense because sometimes you never know when you're going to get hit with a, you know, a freaking, yeah. <laughs> we're going to put it in sports term, but, you know, put it in the uppercut. Yeah. You never know when you're going to be hit with that. Man, it's just all about protecting yourself and doing as much as you can, maybe stepping out a little bit. Yes. And, you know, uh, they were forcing a lot of edge play in that one mm -hmm. and staying mm -hmm. not as much in the center, but more on the edge, trying to get more of that going. So we'll see if that's more of a another thing that kind of, Incorporates in the rest of these matches here. Is it going to be more edge play or more in the center? Yes. Of the location. All right. Well, while we get into this next game here, we have JT versus Jack, and this and this is kind of an interesting one because he's taking uh, Kirby with him. So it's um it's definitely going to be an interesting round to uh, say the least. Well, this is an interesting location. This has kind of instead of the traditional two layers, we see a. Uh, yeah. Third at the bottom is very destructive. Uh, yeah. I've always liked Kirby and in this type of scenario because you can use Kirby to your game. Too. So it's a. Uh, oh, look at those aerial attacks. Oh my oh, gosh. Wow. What a quick game. Ooh. 
30 seconds max. Wow, that, uh, that was quick. That was a quick game. <laughs> quick dub, all right. That happens. That happens wow. all the time in this sport, for sure. That's yeah, an Blake interesting one. It, Nick. 30 seconds max. That, that was it. Well, yeah. Jack is now out of the, yeah. <laughs> and the match is now. I mean, I'm speechless. Do you have anything to say with that? <laughs> that just that it just flashed before your eyes. Yeah, I mean, it was just you know powerful moves right from the get go and able to get that quick win for sure. Yeah, 100. percent And I think that's just that's an interesting game right there. Yeah, 30, that, 30 know, seconds max. I don't know how much that's gonna happen here, Nick. For I sure. I, um, but still. I mean, just to think that it was only 30 seconds, yeah. though. I mean, most of our rounds have even lasted, like, you know, two minutes, three yeah. minutes, you know, four minutes. But just 30 just seconds right out of the gate is an interesting yeah. one. And inter inter interesting, can't speak to that. <laughs> and that's certainly the way you uh, can do it. I mean, just to real quick, to, you know, 30 Real seconds. quick, just simply like, oh, okay. And then just, <laughs> just end this. Yeah. For sure. And uh, Jack's out, and, and we're yeah. going to move on here down the line. And yeah, and JT, JT stays recover. in. JT stays in for this uh, next upcoming game. But, yeah, going to those um, aerial attacks that we were talking about last game, <clears throat> I think using the aerials to your attack is a good tactic because you yeah. can get your opponent way off the thing where they can't even float back and then they just fall. But the issue with that, and you run a risk with it, is once you're in the air and once you're away from the you know the main thing, yeah. you also run the risk of losing a life. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's always like, you know, you, you run the risk. Yeah, and there's a risk and reward. Right? Yes. And sometimes you got to risk it to get the biscuit. Absolutely. And when you risk it to get the biscuit, sometimes you don't come home with biscuits. But sometimes you do. Yeah. You and come home with cases, golden biscuits. You come home with more than biscuits. Yes. You come home with some chicken. You come home with some biscuits <laughs> and gravy. You, know, you come home with the gravy yes. and, the, and the potatoes. You come home Absolute. with the whole bucket. So, Absolutely. You know, with this game, sometimes you just got to take some chances. Yeah, and you and you may and you may come home with some pretty good biscuits you right there. You never know. But you never yeah, know here on it's Twitch. it's de it's definitely interesting with those aerial attacks. So you also, like I said, you run the risk with those aerial attacks. But if you're in like a pretty good stance, you're good. You're golden. You're like go and run those aerial attacks. Yeah, stance is always just so important. Absolutely. You know, trying to stay low, stay level, stay even. Mm -hmm. You're always trying to attack, be in a good position always. Yes. You know, and when you're off balance, that really hurts you in a huge way, especially in this game for sure. Absolutely. Well, we got JT versus Byron up next. JT as you know, Indiana State and Byron as Illinois State. Here we go. Kirby getting it. J JT as Kirby, Byron as uh, Eddie Kong. And we're back to the uh, now match. Uh, it looks like a tennis court. Yeah, it's the yeah, Pokemon it's Stadium. I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you got the second level, obviously, already. But I'm kind of interested to see uh, what Diddy can do, um, just just with its attacks alone. Those kind of smaller characters. That nice hit, nice hit. See these? Here's the aerial attacks that I was talking about. You run the risk, but sometimes you can get back on there just in time. Nice hit by nice hit by JT. Fire. Oh my gosh, what a hit Ooh. by JT. That's what you like to see. It's like better Dexter. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Byron seems to be using the same uh, guardian technique as uh, Jack was. Yep. JT is putting some really great work on Byron on this uh, on this game. See, there, see, there's the there's the high percentage um, round stuff that you kind of really want to look at because when you're that when you're you know high in percentage, you run the risk of you know getting, getting a special move. There's those aerial attacks again. He used those uh, at his advantage. It's so interesting. To me. We, we've seen that a lot. Absolutely. Of this game like you said earlier I mean when you run the risk sometimes you may not get biscuits but I think uh, I think JT's bringing home the biscuits tonight. <laughs> he's looking really good and you're really being able to absolutely there's one of those down moves JT's still alive in this game 
lives are lives are up on top here. Because he's left, he has to the right. And the damage count is at the bottom of the screen. There's those aerial attacks. Let's see if we can use it to his advantage. Is Ooh, it's oh my gosh! Wow. wow! What a game. That could have been anyone's game, to be honest with you. Very wow. Even. Very even. Absolutely even there. Absolutely. Well, we're gonna take a quick break real quick as we get in as we get ready for this next game. So we'll be right back uh, momentarily. Welcome back, everyone. Here with my, myself and Tommy. Tommy, what do you think of the game so far that has happened in you know the last thirty minutes or so? A lot of everybody throwing our bodies around, right? A lot of trying to stay at the edge, be aggressive still. Yes. A lot of airplay, and I'm really looking forward to maybe seeing some mind games, maybe some outwitting a little bit. A little bit of you know just like a tricking him a little bit. See what's going on there. Uh, I'm I'm interested to see that. Uh, part of the game, see if maybe mm -hmm. that comes out here in these later matches, and uh, see what kind of changes in the strategy a little bit. Absolutely. I mean, as we saw with at least the last game anyways, those aerial attacks, I mean, we've talked about it plenty of times here. You yeah. know, sometimes you get some biscuits, sometimes you don't. Sometimes, yeah. But th that's the type of risk that people are willing to make with uh, th some of these tournaments. So it's, uh, it's definitely interesting to see um, kind of what – different people kind of do. Some of them may do aerial attacks, some of them may not. So it's hard telling. Uh, yeah, maybe, you know, stick on the ground a little bit more. I think maybe we might see that a little bit. Yes. Possibly, maybe stay in a little bit more in the center. Two, uh, but it looks like... One, go. Yep, it's Luke versus Byron. Luke is uh, on I, um, Indiana State. Byron is on Illinois State. Luke is uh, Dr. Mario. And, uh, Byron is Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Green. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Myron's kind of using that shield a little bit, but you know, he's got to be really careful as he goes <laughs> right into uh, one of those health generation things. I just got word that this was a uh, as a test round. We do apologize for that. We do apologize for things, that one. Things happen. But we want to make sure that we are good to go <laughs> when it comes to when it comes to uh, this certain things, especially with the internet. I mean, you never know what could happen. Huge factor uh, is the Wi-Fi. Absolutely. Like, uh, you know, this is work, like you said, we're learning. We're yes. all new so due to this situation. So, try to make sure everything's running like smoothly over here. Ooh! Trying, trying to save those arrows, but it's hard to. Luke. Iron's putting in some work, but Luke is also responding to some of that work right there. Keep in mind, he is facing a different person than when he uh, first faced uh, during the part of the stream. So it's definitely interesting to see uh, some uh, different movements and different downs, different aerials even. I mean, yeah, a lot of flip uh, usage, a lot of kicking, uh, smashing. And using the guard, like I said, is an interesting one. Like I said, you only have that for a couple seconds. And then once you once it's gone, you have to let it regenerate. And it's it's hard when you're in the middle of a fight and you're trying to, you know, be play de defense on there. It's, yeah, it's rough. Both sides. Ooh, there's some aerial attacks right there. Let's see if he can save it, and he does. Iron's been some good work in the aerial attack area. Ooh, oh my gosh! Byron is putting the boot to work tonight. It moves on each side so far in this one. Stay in the center there. See, there's that guard again. Even Luke is using it here. You, while you may have it, it is crucial that you do use it because when you have movements like that with Donkey Kong, it's it's hard to it's hard to you yeah, know block D that. DK's got the big hands, right? Doing everything else. 
Yeah, just hike. Yeah, yeah, sure. We just been some good work on there. Getting into the second level, and here he goes. We are all tied up, well, except for the percentages, but still. One and one right now. Luke has been in some good work. We are pretty much tied up right here. It is anyone's game right here. It is anyone's game right here. They maybe do a mind game or something. Absolutely. See, hanging out that edge. Common occurrence in this game. I think I can also kind of sense Byron kind of using that ledge as kind of like a mental game. It's like, oh, well, Maybe like I'm just going to wait and see, you know, what he does, and then I'll go off of that and go from there. But Luke's really got to keep that in mind with those type of, you know, attacks, because, again, once you're really low, it's going to be interesting. Byron's really low, so he's got to look out for it. And there it is! Oh, game the right game. there! The first the win game. of tonight for Indiana State with Luke... Yeah, I mean, Thoughts? Dr. Mario, I mean, just a good, evenly matched through all the way through. Like we said, a lot of the aerial stuff coming into yes. play and a lot of edge play as well. Hanging onto that edge, yep. kind of using and it as a break, a little bit of timeout, and then able to regenerate on both sides. And I definitely think with that um, kind of edge attack, it's kind of like a mental game. It's kind of like what we were talking about before the game. Yeah. You know, seeing those kind of mental games, kind of getting into the mind of them, like seeing, like, I'm going to wait here and kind of see what happens. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just kind of seeing, like, well, if he gets close to me or if, you know, he does whatever, you know, type of move, I'm going to see what if I can push him farther, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you take a split second, just kind of take a look at what your opponent's doing, you know, really able to focus in, and really you're able to kind of read their moves just a little bit. Even Absolutely. if it's a tell or something that they have, you're able, if it's even the slightest bit of an advantage mm -hmm. to get over and maybe, maybe get a win there. Yes, absolutely. And I think it's, I think that's definitely an interesting tactic. But sometimes, sometimes you risk it and sometimes you don't understand it. And then your player just falls. Yeah. Falls <laughs> and so, down into the abyss. And yep. no and then there go. goes your life right there. Yeah. So it's definitely interesting. Um, but, you know, it's, it's definitely an interesting uh Definitely an interesting game. Uh, the you know, you know, different people using different attacks, different aerials, different you know, whatever yeah, the case may be. Yeah, and you be. said too a lot about the shield usage mm -hmm. on both sides. That's going to be another uh, key that people uh, yeah. and this one use as well. And I mean, you know, the shields are a huge part mm -hmm. now. And honestly, we're going to see a lot more. I think this set of match thing, we're see a lot more of the air like we've been seeing before. I think that's mm -hmm. going to be the trend for the rest of the. I definitely, tonight. I didn't like I said earlier with the aerial attacks. I think they're definitely interesting, but like I said, you run the risk of doing that type of stuff. Yeah. But the, I mean, with at least that last map, I mean, we usually have the two standard uh, second yeah. level, but this time we had the three level. Yeah, it's kind of and sometimes, around. sometimes that you know gets interesting. Well, that can shift least. your psyche too. You know, it's yes. in a different area. You're kind of off guard a little bit. You're trying to kind of see, okay, where is the spot now I need to be in? This is a different little setup. Mm -hmm. And that may not seem like a lot going in, but as the game you know, keeps going, keeps going, keeps dragging on, you're kind of trying to pick your spots. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to jump? Where are you going to possibly hide? So yes. it's, there's a lot of different uh, advantages in this game if you go to choose that avenue. Yes. Hiding, dodging, jumping if you want. But we've been seeing a lot of aggressiveness. Absolutely. And I... I think it's kind of interesting because they usually like take a couple seconds, kind of you know get some attacks in, and then they just hit yeah. it head on. Yeah, I definitely uh, think with Luke, I mean he he definitely hit it in that first round, um, and then he came in and it just slammed him. So I think that's definitely uh, an interesting take from Luke. Yeah, I'm willing. To, I'm ready to see these next couple matches and to see the kind of the tone that uh, if they can keep that tone up or not, or if they kind of start to, as the matches go on and on and on, are they going to kind of read each other out a little bit more? Uh, kind of see what's what's going on, how to play the field a little bit. Yeah. See what other people are doing, kind of take those patterns in. And uh, here we go. Let's see. Another slide up here. It's Luke versus uh, Brandon. Brandino. My apologies. Brandino is going to be uh, from Illinois State as a Squirtle. And uh, Luke is obviously with Dr. Mario here on Indiana State. 
Yeah, this is kind of an interesting setup. Here, a very up. interesting setup in a very quick game. Another 30-second game right there. Wow. Didn't even get a chance to break down the location. I know. Uh, that was an interesting kind of a step location we yes. saw. Kind of interesting. We had the two and then the one. Mm -hmm. And then we had the two planks. And that was, was more of like a step. Yeah. And, and it guess it didn't matter because <laughs> it was over 30 seconds. I couldn't even finish my, my thought. I definitely think the more that we so. get into more games and the more that, you know, our players stay, I think we'll see more of those 30-second rounds where it's yeah. just, like, quick, easy, done. Like, oh, well, you know, there we go. Yeah, there we go. And that's just kind of the way this goes. I mean. But it's definitely interesting to see that, um, just even that 30 seconds, just to see what, you know, what the players can do in that short amount of time just to see, you know, what what kind of attacks they use, what kind of guards they use, what kind of defense they can uh, kind of use from that, um, you know, short lifespan that yeah, they have. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, I think, you know, you'll see more of these 30-second matches. Mm -hmm. Things are starting to kind of heat up a little bit. We thought maybe they'd come back, take it slow. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're doing the exact opposite of that. They're just <laughs> throwing it in. They're like, yeah, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep going, we're going to keep going. Absolutely. So, you know, they're, they're really on the attack now, and you can kind of sense that. Especially after that last match, we thought we were going to see maybe one of those tonight. Yep. See another one. You know, what do they say? One's a fluke, two possibly <laughs> starting to be a trend. So yep. you get to three, and you're starting to see a trend. And then so, you're starting to see a trend right there. So, you know, that's kind of what we're, we're looking at here is maybe a little bit more of these quicker games. And, you know, location may not even matter. We yeah. talked about location, but maybe, maybe that doesn't even matter in some that of these 30 ones. It, it depends Nick. on the type of the, the lifespan that uh, you definitely have. Um, you know, sometimes you may have two, maybe you have one, maybe you have all three, who knows? Um, but you do really got to use that to your advantage because once you're out, I mean, you're out. There's no coming back. <laughs> I mean, once you use so. up all those lives, it's, uh, it's definitely an interesting one to kind of see. It's like, oh, well, I only got this much. So let's see what attacks, what kind of dodges, what kind of defense I can kind of use uh, in my advantage just to see, you know, what he kind of responds to what kind of, you know, I can respond to, yeah, you know, he, yeah. this, he, this type of thing right here. And you take the defense, I, I think this is so much more of an offensive uh, set of matches that we've seen. And it looks like we're back live again. And let's see if we can actually finish a, <laughs> a statement here before we go. Well, Dane is back in the seat, the hot seat. He is King Didi. Squirtle, very, uh, very water-based. Absolutely. Very and, uh, I'm kind of interested to see how um, you know, Brandino kind of uses Squirtle a little bit because, to be honest with you, I haven't seen Squirtle in these types of games before. But it's kind of interesting to see, you know, how he can use it to um, his defense. And it looks like there's a few size difference. Here. Absolutely, you know those hitboxes. Dane is getting hit out, out just right out the gate. 30 seconds in. And I wonder if characters like Squirtle and like Kirby, you know, is it really they have their advantages? Also, in this game, is in the size. Absolutely, and I think that's definitely that you don't <laughs> one that you don't oversee that. Can you talk about different maps, maybe slipping and sliding a little bit. I wonder if Squirtle uh, putting water on the ground. Nice defense. That has Absolutely. Very nice defense by Dane right there. Taking off a rope there. Dane is taking a lot of. Hits here. Rendino is really putting in the work right there, and Dane uh, takes no life there. Dane is taking a lot of uh, a lot of damage from right there. You see, this is quite a step two. Is the third to make a triangular level. Absolutely, um, and you can definitely use that to your advantage on the you know second, third level. And you know, it's kind of interesting to see how he uses that. I was just about to say, you know, those aerial attacks. It's hard to do that when you're doing those aerial attacks when you only have you know two lives, one lives even. Because, as we said earlier, it's hard to do that. And yeah. Especially when such a low health. Whew. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. it's hard. Yeah, and you got to, it's all about, like we've talked about, the balance, right? Yes. You know, you're trying to balance what, what move you need to do and when. And you're trying to think of maybe, okay, you know. If you're trying to get in the zone, what are you what are you trying to do to get the feel, get in the zone here? And that's really what this game is all about. So feeling it out and Absolutely. seeing what's going on on both ends. 
Yeah. And I definitely think some of, you know, some of the attacks, some of the aerials that we've seen is, you know, it, it's it's definitely interesting. I mean, we've seen, you know, down arrows where, like, we, what we just saw, like, last yeah. game, where it's just, you know, straight down <laughs> and it just loses the life. Sometimes you, you'll you see uh, an up aerial where it's just off in the distance and it's just done right there. And, you know, some of those aerial attacks are really just, like, hitting at home. It's like a freaking uppercut to the chin. <laughs> yeah, these cruise matches we've been watching, this is an interesting setup, different way to do it. And Absolutely. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. This has been a fun fun day so far. Absolutely. And I think, I think the more as we get into, you know, more matches, more games, you know, more tournaments even, it's, uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how people learn from, you know, these type of games, these type of practices, you know what I mean? It's it's going to be kind of interesting to see, you know, what they learn from. And just because these uh, players can't actually see each other doesn't mean that you can't or cannot have a home field advantage. Right? Absolutely. And so, you know, they're playing, you know, uh, over in Normal. We're playing here in Terre Haute, mm -hmm. you know. But that doesn't mean that we can't have some sort of advantages here and there, mm -hmm. especially home field or whatever, even if it is through Wi-Fi, it is through cords, whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's still a certain atmosphere. You still get the life in here on both sides. It's This is interesting. It's a good atmosphere for sure. Absolutely. And I think definitely with um, Illinois State, I think um, their players, um, they definitely have some of that um, kind of really good attack damage, but some of their defense is also really good, but sometimes it can slip through clacks like what we said earlier. Well, veteran moves and definitely yes. down the stretch. Here. JT is up on the hot seat this time as Kirby. Brandino is still in for uh, Illinois State. Both players still have all their lives. There's only one plank this time. Absolutely. I think that's an interesting tech because now you actually have to stay on just one of those two platforms. There's a, there's an aerial down once again. Well, you're shrinking down the space, Nick, to make a tighter area. Mm -hmm. And when you have that tighter area, you're going to have more. Um, you know, just rather than a big space, we have a lot more room to, to move to kind of, you know, have some defense. Like Position that. yourself. Yes. A lot of even moves. But, uh, still got that edge play. Doing a lot of. Uh, I think they're trying to fight more than the See, there's that guard right there. Duke's head, and there it goes. All even Steven right there. Cheering here, Steven. I'm trying to use some of their uh, attacks right there. You can talk about that. Those aerial attacks really have been effective. Absolutely. Illinois State Energy. Ooh, very nice attack there by JT. JT's really got to be careful with, especially these <laughs> edge attacks right there, because he can simply just guard it and then he can get hit. So he's really got to watch, really trying to attack him. And hey, you can see the size of the. Of the platform, you know, really shaking his match. Uh huh. Right. That's, there's that. Definitely effective. There's that edge attack right there. Would he still put some work in on uh, Brandino? Ooh, there's those aerial attacks again. Trying to knock down, uh, trying to, I guess, knock up the percentages. Keep on moving here. JT's really putting in the work and really trying to hammer it home with uh, Brandino. I wonder who's going to see the steal right first. Right. I think whoever has the better advantage, maybe a little higher ground. Mm -hmm. Using some of those edge attacks right there. I mean, what I've noticed is really the Brandino is really using those aerial downs Ooh. a lot. Yeah. And it even cost JT the game. Yeah. And we've seen it tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> Through these matches, you have the aerial is the big thing. The edge, you're pushing the edge. Well, we've said it before, but I mean, it's just going to continue to be the theme tonight. And we had a little bit longer game than usual. Yes. We've been seeing a lot of these 30 second ones. And maybe, you know, you tired a little bit, kind of getting, and these players are playing too. Mm -hmm. They get tired because they're, yes. they're putting their brains into focus. So. And, you, and you're really thinking about, you know, what you want to use next, what you, yeah. you know, kind of want to see what happens next. Kind of using some of those defenses, and we even saw last game, I mean, with those guards where they're, you know, using those bubbles just to really, you know, hit, you know, those big, like, freaking, you yeah. know, types of things. And it's uh, it's definitely interesting to see um, 
how they use some of those defense and how different players even use some of those yeah, defense. Yeah, when you're a player, right, and you're on the controls, you're playing four matches in a row. Mm -hmm. so that's going to take a lot of energy out because there are a lot of brain power. So you're thinking, you know, how can I, as a player playing against them, use that to my advantage? Yes. What can I do? That's where you see some more trickery, more mind games I think I was talking about. And, mm -hmm. You know, maybe uh, seeing what the location is and figuring it out along the way. Right. And I definitely think with some of those combos that you were talking about, it's also memorizing those yeah. combos with, you know, certain characters. Some characters may have, you know, one where it's like, you know, hitting two buttons and a, you know, stick shift, or, you know, <laughs> another character may just be one with, you know, a stick, or, you know, it's memorizing those type of combos, memorizing those type of hitboxes, and especially with different, you know, hitboxes where, you know, we saw the last couple of games, one maybe bigger than the other, one maybe, you know, smaller than the other, it's hard telling what you're going to, you know, get into. With some yeah, it's games. kind of, a, you know, a flashback to these older games, right? You got a lot of combos, like a Mortal Kombat, where you're yes. doing a lot of combos, Street Fighter, a lot of things like that. So, yeah, this is a, a huge part of the game, is memorizing these different things, putting them in memory, actually using them in an actual match, and being able to use those to your full potential. Yes, and I definitely, I definitely think that's an important thing right there. Well... Zach is in the hot seat, I think, for the first time tonight, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe that he is he, he's definitely in the hot seat as a... Uh, uh, this is uh, one. Jedi Temple-ish. Very, very... Brand Nino is still sticking with Squirtle. Don't mean to fuck out by any means. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. I, you have a lot of different panels on both sides. There are planks. You want to see how that's going to Effect. Looks like it's been kind of a lot of on the ground. A lot of jumping around. Brandina's really putting in the work with Squirtle right there. This looks like those planks are kind of preventing them from jumping. Ooh! Much. What a save by Zach. Got some of those mind games right there. Right here. A lot of movement there by Adrian State. Redbirds can't handle it sometimes. Zach is definitely taking uh, some hits and kind of keeping in mind, but as we've seen earlier in the game, sometimes those areas really do cost you a little bit. But Zach is back at full health once again. Really putting in the work. Really great uh, guarding by Brandino. Brandino is really putting in the work there. Yeah, quick moves by Squirtle. For sure. You know, being able to. Very nice hit by Zach. A lot of water for this. that water. Wow. What a very nice defense by Brandino right there. I busted him up for that one now for sure. Ooh, they hear some of the aerial attacks, and it cost Zach right there. One to two. Yeah. You need to amp up here. Absolutely. Ooh, there you go. All tied up right here. Let's see. It's anyone's game. Let's see if they use some of the combo. Brandino is switching between uh, Squirtle and uh, Charizard. It's, um, you know, some of those aerial downs because once they're in the air and once they're at level, I think Brandon kind of hits that, you know, aerial down and just gets a KO from you know, the player that he's matching. And there it is. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got that final. Man. I'll tell you what. Brandino is really putting a lot of work into this. And it's, it's you know, it's very unfortunate to see um, kind of, you know, how Sycamore's kind of, don't really win with this. And I think it's I think it's definitely interesting. So we'll be right back with a uh, post game here in just a couple minutes. And we are back, and with an unfortunate loss uh, against yeah. Indiana State with the battle of the IU, uh, ISU, uh, Illinois State kind of takes a, takes the top with this one. But, you know, with this type of thing, I think the Sycamores can learn a couple things uh, from tonight. Kind of seeing what kind of, you know, strategies 
you know, different players can use, different type of, um, you know, players, how they use them, different how, you know, they can use that guard. And it's, it's, it's definitely interesting. And as we talked about it many times, those aerial attacks. Yeah, well, my friend, I mean, you know, the aggressiveness was there tonight. Absolutely. For both teams. Absolutely. This is fun to watch. They're really getting at it. They're getting on it. Yes. Going full speed, nonstop. Uh, and, you know, it's just nice to see competitiveness mm -hmm. in, in the eSports world. I'm mm -hmm. glad we're, we're doing this. And, honestly, I think the trees, after the loss tonight, though, I think they did do a really good job. Maybe just a little bit too aggressive. But Absolutely. It's just something you got to measure over time. And it's still the beginning of the season. So Absolutely. They're gonna figure and out their I mean, way. this is also, excuse me, this is a definitely a big thing that, you know, we, we kind of are learning over time, kind of yeah. seeing how we can, uh, you know, apply, you know, said game to whatever. Because keep in mind, Indiana State did not have a game last no, Monday. No. Did not have a game. Yeah. Did not have the opportunity to work on said strategies. They come out a little cold. Maybe. Absolutely. And, yeah, absolutely. you know, as more games kind of impress, you know, with uh, SIU, the Valpo game, um, you know, different, you know, different games, even with uh, Illinois State back uh, on a April 8th. I mean, those type of things, I mean, you got to really work up to it. Because keep in mind, this is the first of – yeah. any <laughs> yeah. Missouri Valley Conference. And it's new for them, and it's new for us. Absolutely. And we're all, like we said, we're all in this together, and, you know, I would be calling some. Nick's going to be calling some. Absolutely. Hopefully we're calling some together. <laughs> this has been fun, my friend. So. But, yeah, I mean, any final thoughts you want to say before, this, uh, before we get on out of here? I, I'm just I'm appreciative of being here. I'm glad I'm able to do this on Twitch for everybody, the Twitch world. Mm -hmm. It's fun doing stuff with Nick. He's always great to be around. This is fun, man. Absolutely. I'm, I'm really excited that this is happening at Indiana State. Good opportunity for so many people, and I'm so glad uh, things got to come together, get this done, and to be able to have this for the Valley. I think it's really great. Absolutely. Well, our next game is March 4th against uh, SIU. I'm kind of interested to see what kind of happens there. Yeah, sure. um, so, you know, we'll be back on here at 745 on March 4th. Make sure to tune in uh, even on – our radio station, Z90.7, WZIS. And uh, just kind of make sure to keep on watching here on twitch.tv slash WZISFM as we'll have more, uh, not only uh, esports stuff, but also some more specialty shows. Um, my name has been Nick Newman, Tommy Devine. Thank Absolutely, you. my friend. Thank you. Thank it's you been for a having blast. Thank, thank you for being guy. here with us. And uh, have a great rest of the night and stay safe, Sycamores. See you guys. Roll trees.